TCT Today. I'm here in the network production tech core. Got it all out there. This is uh, the area that we haven't shown you yet, but it's a very key area that helps to operate our production control department uh, that we've showed you recently. And let me just uh, walk you through a few of the things that are back here. I had the engineers give me some notes just so I, I make sure I don't mess it up and just, you know, not try to pretend like I am an engineer here. But uh, here, here is a great engineer, Thomas. Uh, Thomas has been with us here in the network now for uh, almost 22 years. I know Thomas didn't want to show his face, but uh, hey, Thomas. <laughs> uh, but we're so proud of him. He uh, absolutely knows what's going on back here. Very skilled uh, engineer. We're so proud uh, to have him part of the team. So he got me some notes. So here I go. Uh, here in the back, this uh, first rack that we have is some of our computers that help to operate our production control, help operate our switcher, some of our graphics, uh, and, and those type of things. So, you know, they keep a good eye on those. Uh, our CCUs here for some of our cameras are located in this first rack. Uh, so uh, that's, that, you know, it's, it's good for them to keep an eye on all that stuff in one location in this nice, cool climate control room. You probably noticed Thomas has some, uh, some gloves on. That's keep his hands a little cool because, you know, we have to keep it. It's, it's not like a freezer cold in here, but, you know, keep it cool to keep all the equipment running uh, smoothly. And so the second rack here uh, is our waveform. Uh, monitors and uh, helps to um, monitor all of the cameras. It's our vector scope is what they call it. And so basically if you have a camera uh, that may be a little darker, then he can make an adjustment and turn up the iris, or that's what I call it anyways, uh, to make it a little brighter. And then uh, if it's a little too bright, he can turn it back down. And so he can make all of the cameras match. And so they use the, the vector scopes to make sure between the blacks and the whites and, and all the different colors uh, that are on there that they all match and it's all in unity and looks good. And, uh, and that's why those cameras, when they switch from camera one to two and three, they all match. Not one's bright, one, not one's extra dark. So that's a very, very, very key part of what we do when we're doing a production. And then also we have our monitoring. Uh, right here on this next rack, you can see some of the different cameras uh, with our Ultimat that's here. Now Ultimat is part of our brainstorm center that's also located here in TechCore. And so basically what Ultimat does, it's part of uh, helping to put the infinity sets that you see uh, right there, like you see Tom sitting on a set. Obviously, as we've tell you many times, uh, that's a virtual background uh, that's there because we're actually technically sitting on an, uh, an infinity room, which is all green. Uh, and so then what, what we're able to do is our, our team designs these sets and puts them in. Well, this equipment here helps to uh, basically in, in some form sh shade the camera to make sure it all matches, that it, it sets in right, to get the greens all right. Uh, so, you know, you, w me and Tom don't all look green out there, right? So you can actually see the background of the sets. So it's a really, really uh, important part of the Brainstorm Center and the functions. And this next part here uh, is uh, some more of our um, digital recording decks. So obviously, we do all these programs. you got to record it, right? So we've got our recording decks uh, to help us to be able to transfer the files and get them uh, into uh, the right servers for... Uh, being able to put it to air or for other resources that we may need. And so it's a really key part. And uh, it's one thing you never want to forget, right, Thomas? To always hit record. <laughs> so we, we, and he does. He always does a great job at it. And then this other part is our brainstorm control, uh, more of our brainstorm controls and our frame sync. So basically when you're adding digital uh, feeds in, you got to make sure it all syncs up and everything lines back up. So this helps uh, to do that part of this equipment. Uh, it's really cool. And then this last last rack I want to show you, uh, you see all these different computers that are in this rack. And this is our brainstorm computers, our ultimate chroma keyers, and our CCU. So each, uh, each of these like here you see have a, is a CCU for each camera, it controls the camera. And then you also have with this brainstorm, this is a little something different than most TV cameras would have because of this brainstorm technology that we have. It all has its own computer for each and every camera, and that helps to uh, make all of the digital conversions and, and uh, make the camera uh, function with the brainstorm. So basically, when, if you go out and look at a camera, the camera itself literally thinks that the infinity set is out there. It, it sees it because of this computer and the software that's based in this computer is able to make that conversion and, and make it all work. It really gives us some incredible flexibility when we're doing production 
uh, live or uh, you know there on the set so we can walk around, move, do all kinds of different things instead of like traditional green screen where you kind of have to stay in one place when you're doing something. Uh, it, it's just amazing. We could talk so much more about it, uh, how it, how it all functions and work. But this, this key area uh, is so important uh, to help us to make good quality productions, to record, uh, to tweak out, to keep those brightnesses and, and, uh, and make sure that it's not too dark, not too light, make everything look really well and, uh, and to keep everything functioning for our production control. And so we're so thankful uh, for guys like Thomas, our team. He's just one of our many staff members that have been with us. Uh, uh, we have a few that have been here a short time and some been a very long time. I think 22 years is pretty good, Thomas. <laughs> and, and, and more to go, right? So uh, we're so thankful for that. But here we're in the network uh, tech core for our production control area. And so this was a little look behind the scenes of some more of the things that it takes to help function and operate a national television network like TCT. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life, so you can email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.